Well, India is hosting navies from at least about 16 different nations for an eight-day mega naval exercise with an aim to expand on regional cooperation and combat unlawful activities in the critical sea lanes. Now, the biennial event is held in the Andaman and the Nicobar Islands. It also features professional exercises and seminars, social events and also sporting fixtures between participating nations. And Vyond's correspondent, Raghavendra Rav, spoke to India's right. Naval Chief Admiral Sunil Lanba over the significance of the ongoing maritime exercise in the Indian Ocean. All that remains of that dummy oil rig. What are the big takeaways you are looking at from this year's Milan? I think the biggest takeaway from this year's Milan is the first time where we are having a multilateral exercise at sea, wherein uh, nine countries, including India, are participating, with uh, 11 ships from foreign-friendly navies as part of this exercise. Right. We are going to be exercising at sea over three days. This is the first for Milan, and this is the biggest takeaway for Milan 18. But also, Vion caught up with Rear Admiral Dinesh Tripathi, who explains the challenges in maritime cooperation and why the exercise is beyond a show of naval strength. When it comes to actual coordination between various navies, when you sit together, what are the kind of challenges that crop up? What are the challenges which you face in, in terms of getting to know each other better? Yeah, uh, that, that has been uh, largely surpassed right now. Uh, I would say that this being the 10th edition, uh, we have got this multilateral, which is maiden uh, initiative under this construct. Right. So since so many ships will be operating in uh, close formations, they will be carrying out various evolutions. We have utilized this time in harbor to iron out any uh, issues which are there in uh, terms of understanding, interpretation, language. Uh, that has been the uh, major challenge. But as I said, since this is uh, now uh, the 10th edition, largely we are on the same page. But uh, since uh, ex people are operating at uh, very close uh, ranges at sea, uh, we have to be sure as to what we are doing. So it's not just a demonstration of Indian Navy's military might or the na naval might of other countries. It's more about how these navies will interact with each other when they meet at the high seas in a crisis situation. Absolutely. Uh, there is uh, no question of uh, display of any might. Uh, this is an uh, initiative to uh, uh, build bridges of friendship enhance uh, collaboration and to arrive at a situation where the combined strength, combined good of all the navies, it put to uh, good use for everybody in the region. All right, now this year's this Milan exercise is being held in the backdrop of China's growing military posturing in the Indo-Pacific region. But how big is the Chinese threat or is it even a threat? Well, hear it from the Indian naval chief himself. You have to view the Indian Ocean region as an ocean which is almost 4,000 nautical miles from China. And what is the deployable force levels which can be put by the Chinese Navy Indian Ocean. The balance of power and favorably rests in our favor in the Indian Ocean region. We are the largest navy in the region and I don't foresee any threat. Meanwhile, Vion has captured the drills that were carried out by the Indian Navy during the Milan exercise. Marine commandos of the Indian Navy demonstrated a small team insertion and also extraction technique as they launched an attack on a dummy oil rig. It was followed by a search and rescue operation by Chetak helicopters of the Indian Navy and also the Coast Guard, instilling confidence amongst the spectators about the capabilities of the armed forces. The Indian Navy exhibited their skydiving skills, performing a combat free fall. And at least about 16 nations are participating in this ongoing mega naval exercise. The growing Chinese influence in the Indian Ocean region is a huge concern for the Indian Navy and the navies of several other countries in this region. The Indian Navy consistently deploys stealth warships across the Indian Ocean region to track the movement of Chinese warships and submarines. The Chinese have been trying to assert themselves in the naval arena and their presence in the Indian Ocean region is only a pointer to the fact that they want their presence to be known. Exercises like Milan help the Indian Navy as well as other navies of this region to understand each other's capabilities and work together in situations where crises are happening and where the situation demands 
a concerted effort on part of various navies and an effort on part of these navies to work together in a scenario. The Indian Navy says Milan is not a demonstration of India's naval power, but only an attempt at working together with other friendly navies. But yes, a country like China, which is asserting itself free, very frequently in the Indian Ocean, will be watching this exercise very, very carefully. At the Milan exercise in Port Blair in Andamans and Nicobar Islands, Raghavendra Rao, beyond. All right, now tens of thousands of people in Slovakia took to the streets demanding the ouster of Prime Minister Robert Fico. Now the protests erupted after the murder of an investigative journalist, Jan Kuciak, who was shot dead along with his fiancée at his home. Now, the brutal murder of the journalist has sent shockwaves through the Central European nation and has brought people onto the streets due to the brazen corruption and sleaze which has permeated in all aspects of public life. Now, according to reports, Jan Kuciak was working on an investigative story highlighting an Italian company which is believed to have had links with the mafia which was operating in Slovakia. Now, the Italian company reportedly also is getting patronage from the Slovakian Prime Minister. However, Prime Minister Robert Fico has denied all allegations and Robert Fico has in fact led the Central European nation for the last 10 years, during which period Slovakia has seen brisk economic growth. Although no one has so far been charged with the murder of the journalists, over 50,000 people marched through the capital city Bratislava, chanting slogans, enough of Fico and jangled keys in a protest which is similar to the ones which Slovakia had witnessed way back in the year 1989 in the anti-communist rallies.